Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. I want to welcome you to my channel, all my subscribers, my new subscribers, all my hey, let me check this dude out, all my peaches, triggers, lovers, haters, commenters, each and every one of you. I appreciate you and welcome you to my channel. It, and I'm going to continue on. You know, yesterday was Mia's birthday, my wife's birthday, and I did some footage. I was going to slot it in here. But then I'm having so much fun with this. I thought maybe I'd dress the part and wear a wife beater since a lot of you like, you know, um, um, <laughs> I'm not going to say it because I'm going to be respectful. But, you know, you know, I do have a few muscles left too, you know, you know. But anyway, I was looking over the video in the past and um, I thought I comment this on my last video, but I didn't. So I want a second record straight. This is um, um, Black Grandpa. Uh, and uh, Black Grandpa, I appreciate you uh, commenting on my channel. I, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, but he says, uh, um, why don't you show the, uh, the comment that you said about Calvin? You're not showing any real proof to prove your case. Apparently, Black Grandpa <laughs> has a little legal uh, experience in his life. So what I'm going to do is that... Uh, um, I'm going to pause this for a second, Black Grandpa. I'm going to pull up the, the full comment, because this is where I said, Calvin, why don't you grow up? So at least this way you know where this came from when I made that statement. Okay, just hold on a second. Just hold on. <clears throat> okay, I found it. I thought I put this in the last video, but I didn't. But this is from the uh, Coming to America, and Black Grandpa wants to know, uh, about the full comment and and uh, the proof, I guess, of why I said grow up. And this is from Jab, Jab58. If, if, if you've seen this before, just bear with me. I just want to just make sure it gets into the video. He says, Calvin is a joke. He's nothing more than a, room, a womanizer. He knocks all these women up and ghosts them. He thought he could control his last wife and she left him for a younger guy. Ha ha ha. He was jealous of his own family. Poor Marilyn is sick of him. Just a matter of time before she sends him packing and getting that house. Okay, so that's the, that's the comment that was put on uh, about Calvin. And then I responded, wow, that's fucked up. That just tells me he still has a lot of growing up to do. Now, like I said, if, if you heard me say it, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but anyone who is allegedly that dysfunction in his life, you know, and, and, uh, and being, uh, you know, here in the Philippines and still carrying on like, 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 like that needs to grow up. I stand by that statement and that's where that's going to lie. So thank you, Black Grandpa, for me reiterating that uh, the reason why all this came about, I guess he felt I was talking about him or whatever. But anyway, uh, um, let's get back to uh, uh, calling all Calvin's sunshines commenters. Okay, just hold on. Here we are. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Um, let me see. Uh, Okay. Mm. Uh, I, I see a few of you have replied to the reply, but I, I'm, I'm not going to dive in it. So. Um. Black Grandpa, I can't find you again because that's where I'm going to kick off at because uh, that's the last thing I got. Okay, let's go down. Okay, here we go. Okay, Black Grandpa. Okay, the next one is from Lucas Ar Ar Arnesta. Uh, L-U-C-I-U-S-A-U-R-E-L-I-U-S-A-U-S. -E 69. <laughs> I don't care what they say about your name, my brother. 69 is always a good number. My age for the whole year. Um, maybe you and Calvin should have a wrestling match. Okay. Oh, I already read that one. I said, no, I, I did that one. 
Uh, and I said, no, it, it's not something that um, I think we should have an inter in intellectual wrestling match. I think that's what needs to be, you know, uh, to happen. So this way we can uh, both uh, joust about how we feel and how we stay. And like I said, we're on two different sides of track, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, as far as our blackness is concerned. So we come from two different point of views, which is which is which is very relevant in, in the things I talk about and, and how he talks about things, the way I look at the women and the way he looks at women, you know, you know, you know. But anyway, I, I think that would be more interesting. But thanks for that. Uh, and this is from Alexander's Alexander Holmes. He says, uh, you uh, good. Uh, you good to your uh, two brothers. You you good to brother. Do you? OK, yes, I'm going to do me. That's the only way I know how to be. Thanks for watching. This is um. Uh, no love. Uh, I, I'm getting it like a deja vu, like I've read these before. But, you know, I think when I went to save them as a draft, you know, it, it got erased. So that's why I'm go um, if you heard him before, you heard him before. But he says a lot of haters on these logs. logs. I don't know. V-L-O-G-S is definitely blogs or blogs. I don't know. I, I still can't figure it out. You know, you, I told you about my reading ability, but uh, it, I can gather, yeah, there is a lot of hating going on in these channels. In fact, a lot of the search engines always have something negative about someone or about the topics that, you know, that, that lead you to believe that, that there's, I mean, um, it, it just, hate spreads more than love. I'll leave it at that. So at any given time, you can watch it. Somebody who's claiming to destroy someone in conversation or someone blows up someone's argument <laughs> or, or someone kills the discussion. You know, these type of words are words that are used to uh, clickbait, you know, to uh, to uh, to uh, appeal to your conscience, you know, or your own secret desires for violence. I don't know what be that as it may. I, I have been consciously, you know, because um, a lot of times it's a conscious decision that when I see blogs, uh, things like that in the title or the sad ending of so and so, you know, you know, I just don't watch them because, you know, I, I you know, I know, you know, it's, uh, you know, I just don't watch them. I, I try, I try not to feed into that negative, um, um, you know, uh, um, aura that what seems to be kit keep getting putting out there on YouTube. Okay, uh, this next one is to uh, from uh, Delta Force, uh, US Alert, uh, three days ago, he says, oh, I, I, I see, I, I think I, um, but I'm glad I did, because I, I want to add some more on this one. Uh, Delta Force uh, says, he has 100,000 subscribers, and you have 2,000. Uh, how can you beef, how can your beef backslash complete, compete? Uh, could not make it in the U.S., so you went to the Philippines. Okay, um, uh, first of all, first of all, my making it here should tell you I made it in the Philippines. Because there's a lot of brothers that, like me, you know, who come from, you know, my side of the track who don't make it. You know, you know, who, who, who don't make the age of 69. A lot of them, a lot of them end up in jail, or, you know, on drugs, or dead, or killed by police, or what have you, or uh, end up with records that don't allow them to get passports. So the fact that you would say that I couldn't make it in the United States is already, you know, off the mark, because this should indicate to you that I have, you know, and I can, and I will. And the fact that I am a 100% disabled vet, and your title is uh, Delta Force, but it leads me to believe that you have also been in the service. Thank you for your service. And I try to put out there that when someone thanks a veteran for their service, that vet should say, and thank you for being someone worth serving for, you know, because that's also important. OK, now about, you know, my couldn't make it, you know, because I am a disabled vet, it allows me to live anywhere in the world, my brother. I could go into any military installation in the world and take a military hop wherever I want to go. So you telling me that I couldn't make it? I was a freelance publicity photographer, you know, uh, uh, um, for, for over 40 years. In fact, you've seen some of my work and didn't know you were looking at it. 
Ninety-five percent of my work appeared in a publication somewhere around the world. My first publication is Richard Burton Tatum O'Neill from Circle of Fear in the New York Post. So you know, and so for you to say I didn't, I didn't make it, I mean, you know, I'm man. I was the Godfather, so much James Brown, personal photographer, Al Sharpton, personal photographer. Uh, um, uh, uh, I. I mean, I photographed Bonnie Hilton Sweeney's personal photographer, you know, who, who sent me to all the, all the VIP gigs, man, you know, to the high profile events. I made it and I launched my own magazine that I still have here in the Philippines. And I do motivational speaking from, you know, when I was in the United States after getting out of prison, which is 24 years without having handcuffs on me, you know, and not only that, I do... I do motivational speaking here in the Philippines to try to encourage kids not to follow the path I did and how they're going to make mistakes and how to, and, and how to live a better life and always do the right thing. So you tell me I can't make it. I do more in this, in this culture, you know, and, uh, where I am, you know, then and I, I, I'll put it up against anybody, any of the bloggers, any of the bloggers. You know, who who just want to just go around and just give out money or or, or or you know give buy someone a pair of shoes. In fact, check this out. This is just for you. Just hold on. The night is on my family soon. Make it collect phone calls, etc. You know, and I'm not here to preach because this is all about a good thing. But the point of the matter is, is that no matter what you want to do in life, no matter what it is you want to do in life, you can't. There's a method of standing down and looking at it. Dreams are nothing more than plans and waiting action. Can everybody say it one time? Dreams are nothing more than plans and waiting action. I thought you were terrific correct. Okay, so other than that, I'm gonna turn it back over this to back and let's let the show begin. Thanks a lot for having me, all right? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I showed you one in New York, my talking, and one in the Philippines, I'm talking. So when you say I couldn't make it, man, <laughs> I can make it anywhere. I don't know. What's your claim to fame, my brother? I don't know. Okay, but anyway, um, uh, and as far as the 100,000, you know, subscribers uh, versus my 2,000, I'm a growing YouTube channel. I've only been, you know, doing this for one year. Give me time. Allow me to grow. I got you watching it, so that's got to be a good thing, right? Hey, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All right. Uh, this next one is from uh, Jazzy. Uh, Jazzy uh, writes, he says, uh, uh, stop watching Calvin a while back, especially when he blogs about his cheating stories on Marilyn, soapbox corner anger preacher that he is. When you watch the body language between him and her, you can tell that his level of arrogance. Yet he keeps saying the same things over and over and over. Same comment, different title. That's Calvin. <laughs> okay, so anyway, you know, uh, this is, apparently this blogger has some very strong opinions about watching Calvin Sunshine shoulders and and i'm glad i'm glad i'm doing this because this way gives me a chance to kind of you see what what you know what i get to see whenever you know i'm um uh 
you know, whenever I'm checking out Cal, um, when I get from Calvin. So Jazzy, uh, thanks for that. Okay, this next one is for KC Inbox. Misspelled your title, Gerard. Okay, shoot me. Shoot me. I told you I'm not a good speller. I said that before. You know, um, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I'm going to repeat this. That if I write down the seven days a week, I might misspell one or two. If I write the 12 months of the year, I might misspell about three months. You know, if I spell uh, September, S-E-P-T-E-M-B-E-R, that's my birth month. I don't know if I spelled it correct a lot or not, but you be the judge. So, yeah, so, so, you know, I'm not the best speller. I'm not the best reader. But, you know, but... Uh, as as little education I have, I owe to myself. But yet, and still, it didn't stop me from putting out a magazine. It didn't stop me from becoming a writer. It didn't stop me from you know from from doing and achieving what I wanted to achieve in life. And you know, and that's something what I talk about. Kids can't can't no one can't no one take away from you what you have. I'll tell you one quick story. And and since you want to talk about this, you know, uh, when I got out got out of prison. You know, I, I was a photographer. I was a photographer for the Democrat and the Republican Party. And, you know, uh, they called me and told me, President Al Gore is flying into Long Island and they want you to shoot the meet and greet. We need your social security number. I said, oh, no, no, no. I can't give you my social security number. I said, I'm on pro. They said, Gerard, we don't care. We want you to take the picture. Give us your social security number and we'll handle that. So I said, okay. So the day of the shoot, I went to the airport, you know, gave my information, you know, th- you know, they let me go through. And when I got to the area, uh, uh, when they checked the board, uh, the Secret Service came over and they, they talked and they talked and they talked. And then they came over to me, OK, look, you take your pictures and get the hell out of here. So I said, yes, yes, yes. And I did. Here's one, two right here. So anyway, so. What happened was that when I got to parole and they told me that I had police contact and I said, yeah, they said, with who? I said, Secret Service, Secret Service, Secret Service. Can you prove it? I said, yeah, here's my badge. <laughs> you know, VIP vice president like this. You know, they said, oh, my God. Never in my 40 years have I ever had a vet, a, a prolee have this kind of police contact. You can't take any more pictures. You can't take any more pictures. That's what my parole officer said. The supervisor said, no, 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 no. Let him take his picture. Let him, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. And, and they looked at my, my work and said, look, he's got a better picture of Hillary Clinton than you do. <laughs> so they made me promise not to uh, be in any more high profile uh, uh, events that involve Secret Service. I said, OK, <laughs> OK, I won't be there. But when I talk to kids and I tell them that story and I tell them, look, let me tell you something. You're going to make mistakes in your life. And no matter, you know, uh, uh, if you have something to offer, if you have something to give, if you have something that people want, people are often inclined to overlook your past because of what you have to offer. So don't let your past stop you from still achieving your dreams and your goals. Um, See what I got? Okay, one sixty minutes. Okay, so with that being said, <laughs> that'd be fifty pesos, please. <laughs> you just got a little taste of my motivational speaking. Okay, this is Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth, and I'll be right back with a few more of your comments. You know, like I said, I like this, and and I'm in that <laughs> that white beat on Torah here. <laughs> hey, yo, my man, for your girl, <laughs> for your <laughs> girl. <laughs> I'll be right back. Always love you more. Be right back.